I just thought it was really funny to start the video off that way with max volume and seeing the look on your face right now, seeing your reaction, it was definitely worth it. Yes, Sniper Wolf has a new drama. And also, yes, she did not choose the drama life. A drama life chose her. And I won't be surprised her next defense coming and making a statement online that the Matrix is after me. They're trying to find ways to cancel me left and right. The new drama that came her way is from her bestie, Ozzy World. If you don't know who Ozzy World is, basically these two, Sniper Wolf and Ozzy Wolf, Ozzy Wolf, they sit in front of the camera, they react to things basically uh, for 12 year olds eating their chicken nuggets. They enjoy watching TikTok videos, compilation of them. And there has been a rivalry between them, fans fighting each other saying, who was the original creator of this? Because not only their videos look the same, their thumbnails, their titles, Everything is just copy paste of each other. To me, this looks like they both hired the same script writer and the script writer was not in the mood to make multiple scripts. So they just ended up doing the same thing. This has been an internet beef for a very long time until AZ Land came two days ago and she revealed that she has been physically attacked in a Fortnite event, the professional versus amateurs in 2018. Also joining us today, Sniper Wolf. And Sniper Wolf embarrassed herself in more ways than one. Billed as the pro gamer in a pro amateur duo, Sniper Wolf was outplayed by everyone on the stage that day. Her team finished tied for dead last with zero points. She got eliminated early in all three rounds of the tournament. I basically watched this video that I just, this new YouTuber I discovered called Nerd City. He goes in deep details of every single thing. This video that I watched was one hour long. So if you want a full detailed one, go watch his videos. I literally went inside the bathroom. I sat down for a good 30 minutes, putting that shit on X2, dumping four shawarmas and watching this video through. Now, before I go and show you the Azilan's interview that she revealed that she's been attacked by Sniper Wolf, let me give you a quick recap. Let me refresh that goldfish memory of yours. I think I covered around four to five videos about Sniper Wolf drama, her ghosting a dying fan with cancer, her doxing Jack Films, stealing content from TikTokers and never crediting them, getting arrested and all these things, and obviously copying AZ Land after all the evidence that came out. A piece of wood used to mix paint for 50 years. Used to mix paint for 50 years. Imagine how cool this would be like people like were a little more creative though. And they were like, pink, blue, yellow, purple. I mean, it would have been cooler if y'all used like brighter colors or something. It's the same kind of, kind of content. She's just a liar though. She's stealing everything and has been for a very long time. And Sniper Wolf coming in after all the drama that came out, took her time with it, talked to her managers to give the best outcome there is. And this is what she said in November 2023. I have a backup of videos and screenshots before she changed the thumbnails and makes it look like I copied her. I have proof she copied my thumbnails. Now, it is very easy to go back and just change your thumbnails from videos years ago, but you cannot change your words when you're in front of the camera a few years ago. To mix paint for... 50 years used to mix paint for 50 years seo the way i speak the jokes i make the way you're trying to manipulate this is fraud now i'm pretty sure after she wrote that the person who told her to write that was fired because of this horrible horrible defense that she had and to refresh your memory after the biggest drama that happened after Jack Films calling Leah out for Sniper Wolf out for many, many months. Just Sniper Wolf one day just snapped. She went and she posted on IG, should I go to Jack Films' house? And then posted this picture of Jack's home, doxing him. After that, going and saying this creep has been harassing me for months and playing victim, saying I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. Now, calling someone out on the internet and doxing them online, completely different things. People who watch Sniper Wolf, especially adults, they think Sniper Wolf is their internet girlfriend and they will do anything to protect her image. So doxing someone like Jack, it was very dangerous for him. That's why Jack took a break and Sniper Wolf she was suspended from YouTube, sorry, demonetized from YouTube. And that was the ultimate punishment YouTube could give them. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, ah! How could you? and after someone held a gun to her head and told her to write this apology, she was forced. And this is what she wrote. Well, none of it was believable. Now, after that very bad behavior that Sniper Wolf had, not only she disappointed all the 12 year olds who watch her, she also disappointed me. 
Yes, some of you know my, the people who've been watching me for a while, you know my dark, filthy, embarrassing, shameful history. That last year when I started YouTube, I became a reactor and who was my idol? Who was I looking up to? Sniper Wolf. Just like put their zipper together and then pull it up. They gotta put it on a fork to assist them. Some people need all the help they can get. Because I was seeing views, I was seeing it's working out and I was like, I, have, I had no idea what I was doing on YouTube. I was a TikToker doing renegades and it wasn't paying my bills, so I decided to join YouTube. Anyways, let me show you the video you've been all waiting for, Ozzy coming forward and talking about her experience with Sniper Wolf in 2018. Basically, uh... They were like in a circle and I was walking, I walked to the bathroom and then when I was walking back, I saw them and they are like, hey Ozzy! And even go, and then I was like, there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Just, just be nice. I just walk over, and then I go into the, in there, and I got really awkward. So I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself, and uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent, and she's like, like angry, and then she like lunges at me, and I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying. Got in between and like pulled her off me, and then they took her back into the room, and then I was out there, and they were like, what the f was that? <laughs> It was just like, it was so, oh yeah, she was like, oh yeah, she was screaming at me. She's like, a bunch of words I can't actually say on YouTube. But the one sentence I can say is she goes, you fake your game plan and then charges towards me swinging. So there were teammates, I believe in 2018 event. I wasn't on social media back then, nor I was watching them. But from the information that I gathered, gathered from the internet, they were teammates and then they lost. Sniper Wolf could not smash her PC in front of everyone. So what she did was she released her anger onto the person, something unrelated to Fortnite, released her anger on the person who she was copying. And that, my friend, is what we call a guilt of an imposter. The fact that she knows she's copying and she's trying to weigh using her community and using her online presence because her community is bigger, trying to kick Aziland out of this section so she will be the only one having these reactions on her thumbnails with a red background. She wanted the whole game to herself and this uh, Mr. Nerd City, he went on and he said a lot. Half of the video was about narcissists, narcissist behavior. Said that she always wants to be the best, said some other information about people with uh, narcissist syndrome. And the fact that she came at the end and said, you copy your gameplay. We covered this video a couple of months ago as well, where it came out, legal documents, that all this time, the way the Sniper Wolf's uh, channel blew up where she was playing video games, it was actually the husband playing the video game, pre-recorded, and all Sniper Wolf was doing, pressing some random buttons on the controller and speaking into the mic. Young would then prepare a script for each recording for Shalesh to read on camera while acting as though she was playing the recorded video footage, so he's saying it was all fake. FAKE! So in her head, she is not wrong, she was the original one, and this thing actually happens a lot, and a lot of people don't know about it. When a famous creator, for example, sees a small creator post a piece of content, and that content is really good, the big creator will take that content and will post it on their channel, stealing their idea, and no one can say anything about it. And everyone's going to be like, oh, the big creator came up with it first, because they already have fangirls dying all over them, and they will defend their, the, that big creator no matter what. And the only way they get called out is if they're too, too successful. In my opinion about copying content, obviously, if, if you're not going to make it if, you're, if you copy each other. The reason why people follow you on YouTube is because you are you. You are bringing your personality into the internet. People don't want to see 50,000 Mr. Beast who look like. But if you're thinking about starting up content, doesn't matter, TikTok, YouTube. I think at the beginning, it's fine to see what kind of... A niche you want to get yourself into you have to, you have to get like an idea of how things work and then after you get you pass like 10,000 followers on TikTok or something then you need to you know be creative with it since you understand how social media works this is if you have never pressed that record button button in your life now with the drama that these ladies are having over the past six years I think there is only one way to settle this Oil up wrestling, not boxing, not kickboxing, Ozzy and 
a sniper wolf need to get into uh, this bubble uh, bats, bubble swimming pools, and we, they need to oil up with bikinis, and they need to settle this once and for all, and I will be on the front row seat. We will all be on the front row seat, sitting on, <laughs> sitting with our popcorns and our shishas, enjoying the content. <laughs> but yeah, this for sure won't be the last video we make about Sniper Wolf, because no matter what she does, drama comes in her way, and stay tuned for more videos like that. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that if you're still bored and you want to watch more videos see these two click on one of these take care yellow bye